Grouping is a method to construct a new variable based on the existing items in the questionnaire. My question is how to construct this new variable, how to perform it in SPSS. In this video, let me show you how to group Likert scale variable in SPSS and how to use them properly. Keep watching this video. In this worksheet, I have a fictitious data about a satisfaction level of a product. It has 100 cases and also it consists of 10 variables. You see, I have gender variable, age variables, and also age Likert scale variables. And if you take a look at the variable view, it starts from taste, texture, smell, and crunchiness. These four variables, I will group them as the internal factor of the satisfaction level, and I will try to compare it to the price, packaging, advertising, and color, which I will group them as the external factor of the satisfaction level. And to compare it, I will use the mean as the statistic measurement, and we will obtain the mean and we'll see what kind of interesting information that can we obtain from this grouping process. To group the variables using the mean method, we will try to create a new variable. So go to transform and then select compute variable. And after that, at the target variable, let's type the new name of our new variable. Let's make it internal and then copy it. I'll just put it in the label also to make it easier. And after that, at the numeric expression field, let's search the function that we will use to calculate the mean. Here at the function group, select statistical and then click the mean here and click the arrow to move it to the numeric expression field. I'll just delete the question marks here and then select the variable here like it and double click it to make it uh, easier for us to transfer it to the numeric expression field click comma and after the texture comma uh, click the smell and double click it comma the crunchiness also and then close the bracket so we will try to measure the mean of these four variables and then click ok you can see next to the color variable or the last column of your worksheet we have a new variable called internal uh, variable and it consists of the mean value of our four variables start from taste, texture, smell, and crunchiness. Next, let's calculate the mean of the external factor. Let's change the name into external. I also make it as the level like this, continue. And for the mean uh, variables here, I'll just delete it and double click the variable like this comma double click it comma and then double click again and close the bracket and then click ok now we have two new variables that the group of our variables the internal and the external the external is the group of price packaging advertising and color variables now let's try to calculate the overall mean of this variable so we'll obtain an interesting information so go to analyze descriptive statistics and then select descriptives and after that select the internal and external variable here move it to the variable box and then select options select the statistics that you want to show at the output table like this uh, i want to show the mean standard deviation minimum and maximum and just make it ascending means click continue and then click ok you see at the descriptive statistics table we have the mean value which is the overall mean of the internal factors here and also the overall mean of the external factor you can see that the internal factor is slightly higher than the external factor if you are an advisor you can suggest the owner of the product to more focus on the internal factor rather than focus on the external factor it gives a better impact of the satisfaction level of the customer Okay, now let's try to group these variables using median method. Go to transform, select compute variables, and then I'll just start from the internal variable like this, internal two, because uh, SPSS cannot contain the same variable names. And then for the uh, numeric expression, let's search uh, the median function. 
Go to statistical here and then select the median, double click it to move it to the numeric expression field. And then I'll just delete the question marks in the bracket. I'll just double click the all variables that I need to move it to the numeric expression box like this. Okay, I have all variables that I need to calculate the internal factor using mean, sorry, using median uh, function. And then click OK. Let's get back to the data view window. And I have uh, one new variable like this, name internal 2. Okay, let's calculate the second group variable. Go to transform, compute variable, and then let's change the target variable to external 2. Just copy it and paste it into the type and level field like this. And then for the numeric expression, let's change the variable. Just delete all variables in the bracket and then double click the variable that we want to analyze, comma, like this. Okay, double click it, comma, and then select the all variables that we want to create or we want to group. Okay, and then click OK. Great, now you have new variables called external2, which is the group of the price, packaging, advertising, and color variables. You can use these media numbers to perform the further analysis. The last thing that I want to remind you is that you can use median for your grouping. If you want to analyze your data using non-parametric tests, if you want to use parametric tests, let's use the mean for your grouping. I think that's all. See you in the next video.